beautiful people of YouTube, this is MK The Truth, the ODBNT. Oh boy, I, I gotta make them fight. I gotta. If you guys are new to this channel, please, you gotta come on and join the squad. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, the ODB, and I use them as background music on this channel. Now, both of these are retail sneakers. If you know what I dabble in, that's why I gotta say this. Anyway, I gotta do it. I, I got to. I have to. I have to make them fight. Now, of course, we have the Air Jordan 4, I'm on Manier, While You Were Sleeping. And then we have the, is this called While You Were Sleeping? Or I think they're both kind of got the same name. But. <laughs> I got to do this and I like to give you guys my insights on which one I would prefer. I think a lot of you probably already know which one I prefer over the other one, but it's not that simple. Anyway, as you guys can see, I have uh, recently done the review of the Ama Manier at Jordan 4 while you were sleeping. I'm going to go over the things that I like on this shoe, then I'm going to go over the things that I like on this shoe, and then we'll compare them side by side. Uh, I do like this shoe. This shoe is very good, very nice color blocking. Um, I love this sort of a, a violet hue that it has on the upper. This is not like a bone or anything. This is like a violet, a very, very light violet. I love the all new buckle on the upper with the addition of the suede hit. I love that they went with like a pale vanilla color down here. It makes the shoe very clean and easy to wear. The pop of black also helps if you want to wear black shirt, black pants, give a nice contrast, a nice manly or masculine contrast to the shoe because this is a it's pointed at women but it's technically is for both people but the thing behind this is for women but anyway these look really good i love the nike air on the boot with the black on the back new buck is pretty stiff that doesn't mean that the new buck is trash normally the harder stuff is the better stuff all soft leathers and new bucks are not the greatest of quality it goes back and forth you just have to cut it open in order to determine which is which now this does have my um pale vanilla laces in it i do like this this kind of elevated the shoe a little bit more i think the white looks good and i think the standard that comes in here looks good as well you do have a little bit of a difference on this shoe with a sort of a raised jump boy got a little shine to him opposed to the just the classic uh, jump boy and flight here anyway quilty guts has that sort of a light very light violet color and both of these kind of run the same uh, those are the things that i like about this particular pair that just came out very clean very simple and i do have my other pair on the way because i do like those that this that much anyway let's get into the violet pair <sighs> now these are done a little bit different now you can see on the upper that you have a all new buck all new buck take a look at it buck, 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 buck. put it in your face buck, buck. <laughs> but anyway if you look at this new buck it's done in a fashion that i've never really seen before you have like this marbleization all over the new buck i've never seen a new buck done like that it's like real blotchy it has like this sort of a like an aged new buck effect uh going on with it anyway i want to say to some of you people that i know a lot of you don't really well, a lot of people did like this shoe. A lot of people, I guess, kind of moving away from this. This is like a grown, these are grown men making these shoes. Uh, Whitner is a grown man. He's not going to make a whole bunch of shoes with a whole bunch of colors on him. He's not a kid. He's a grown man. And that's part of the reason why I love these colorways. And also this color means something. It means like the, if you've seen dried up blood, how blood dries up and it turns like this burgundyish color. I believe this color represents blood and famine, like hard work and stuff like that. Uh, from the lady somebody correct me if i'm wrong down below but anyway this has shares like a similar air bubble it's got like that sort of a cloudy white air bubble the back violet pieces are a little bit different my uh heel my soul is dry <laughs> that can happen with shoes but that's a big no-no you don't want to get a shoe with some dry rubber that all that means that this will kind of go pretty fast i mean it is what it is that's just the nature of sneakers I, i'm i'm here for it man I, I can't do nothing about it these are long gone i can't send them back and get another pair so i just have to eat this anyway you got nike air on the boot in gray and then of course both of these do share 
the same type of guts one just has a lighter violet one has a darker violet um very good looking shoe and also you have some differences on this particular pair i like that he went and did some different things on these shoes you got this little i'm a manier button right there and you don't have anything on here and i think that is the only difference i believe yeah and then you have that uh it's not about the shoes and you don't have anything written in here i do believe you have why oh, you were sleeping on the inside no 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 i guess not no you don't no you don't so let's get to the insoles on both of these these are really different it's just not it's not just another colorway it's a whole well not a whole different shoe it's, it's different things on the shoe and i like that whitner is doing that with the shoes now you see this light violet just has a it's just all a's all over the uh the insole there this uh insole is quilted this is a 10.5 i don't know if y'all hit it outside but don't listen don't listen don't listen <laughs> but anyway this one has more of a premium like a premium insole although this is synthetic leather it has a premium quilted insole that really feels good on your foot and also you got the holiday 2022 uh patch right there well, i'm on my yeah damn man this was 2022 man the time is flying so you do see the differences between the two insoles you get a little bit of a premium insole with that one and then you get this this is premium as well you got this very nice um, i'm on logo just all over the shoe all over the insole on the inside all right um and i think that's all the key differences aside from the suede on the toe caps for the mud guards both of them are new buck pairs you do have a difference in material you have like that sort of a vintage or marbleization on the uh, new buck on the upper of the violet pair and then the also the pale vanilla i think this is more of a pale vanilla here you see it's a breakup in color you see this is more of the same color here whereas it's kind of different there is get lighter on the bottom of the sole and then the midsole turns like a darker uh pale vanilla color both have black bases like I said, which will contrast very well. And then you almost get like this chocolate bar, sort of a hang tag on this one, which I would never wear on this because this will drag on the ground. <laughs> this will drag on the ground right here. Um, that's pretty much it. You do get a little bit of a difference here, which says I'm a manier on the inside there. And then on these, it doesn't really say anything. So I think that's all of the differences I have touched on on this shoe. And the Nike is, we got the button. Got a little bit of different on the quilted guts. Oh, I didn't know that. The inside is quilted here. And then you got the um, um, yeah, uh, logo just plastered all over the inside there. Um, above all, both of these are absolutely stunning, grown man, easy to wear pairs of sneakers. Absolutely love these. Even though I am not a full head, I think he did a fantastic job in elevating both pairs of these folds. The reason why I go for the um, um, yeah, folds is because... He does fantastic materials. He does great colorways. And you get a lot of quality in your sneaker. And I have no problem paying $225 for a sneaker like this. Although I do think it's a lot. I don't have a problem given the quality in this shoe. So, which one of these would I be taking over the other one? I think some of y'all know. I would say this is a tie. But I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these today. The Air Jordan 4, Violet Brown. The reason why I picked this shoe is because I love brown. I love earth tones. This is a great sneaker. This is a great, great sneaker. It's so close. But this one just has a little bit of a nod up on that one, in my opinion, because of the brown. and the, I just love the way it looks. It's just when you wear it and it gets old, I have a pair I've been wearing. I mean, it's like one of my most worn shoes because it's that good. And at first, I didn't like the shoe. I didn't like it at all. I hated it. But once I got them in hand, I just thought it was an absolutely beautiful sneaker. I probably will be switching some of these laces out uh, with maybe a throw these in here. Let's see, a match with the sole or something. Okay, okay. And that's another thing. You can get jazzy with the laces, flip, it, flip and flop them. Probably put these in here. Uh, I don't know if that will go too much. We'll have to see about that. Maybe I'll throw some pictures up later. But my choice between the two of these, I'm going to have to go to Violet. Yeah, Jordan full. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this comparison video down below. <laughs> that was tough, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I like both of those. Mm, kind of equally, not really. But I gotta go with these right here. I'm out.